Hey, Donnie Eden with Prosperity Mortgage Advisors, and we are here once again live from the shop. And by the way, we got another great show for you. As a matter of fact, it's so good, I'll be the one in the background tapping the little tambourine. I'll be sure to make sure to keep it on time so I don't mess the band up and whatnot. But listen, it's going to be a great show. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Make it a great day. Yes, I'm trapped in my own blues world. 
Welcome to Live from the Shop. Terrence Goose Downey, everybody. We'll call him Terry. We'll call him Goose. We'll call him everything today. We got Meg over there on the lead guitar. Yeah. We got Eric back there on the keys. Tommy back there on the drums. Thanks for being here, guys. Appreciate you being on Live from the Shop. So what are you going to do next? Uh, here's a song I wrote with my buddy uh, Daryl Clinton. It's down in Florida now called Time Flies. Murphy's Law is a lot of work. Things go wrong every day. Even your best laid plans, they can all get blown away. Don't worry about what you don't have. Be thankful for what you've got. Time will fly away, my friend. Whether you have Fun on high. Hickory dickory dock. Nobody stops the clock. Ain't no on poor Jack, so don't you look back. Time will fly. Whether you have fun on From the richest man in this whole world. To the one in the welfare line Precious moments are wasted Looking for a treasure they may never find Some say it's a hard life People push, people show Oh, but I believe All you really ever need is love Hickory, dickory, dock. Nobody stops the clock. Ain't no one for Jack, so don't you look back. Time will fly by. Whether you have fun or not, I'm here to tell you that it's human nature. What you ain't got is what you want. To careful measure. This life, it is a pleasure, and once it's gone, it's gone. Stops the clock. Ain't no on for Jack, so don't you look back. Time will fly. Do you have fun on. Time will fly. Do 
whether you have fun or not. Time will fly whether you have fun or not. So that kind of music, you have to let it breathe. You do. You have no. to let it breathe, you know, and, and you can sit there and want to push all you want to, but just, so did you write this kind of stuff primarily, like the slow? I wrote it on piano, yeah. Just you write it on piano. And at the time, I was actually playing with a really gifted uh, jazz piano player that had moved to town to work for Chet. And, um, really? Uh, Daryl Dipka. And so I was listening to him playing, you know, kind of hanging in there because he was a genius. Yeah. But when I wrote it, I was I thought, well, this is kind of what he would play. He would play something like this, and um, and uh, so there you go. And we yeah. had fun with the hook too. It oh yeah. Oh, it's it great. Yeah, it absolutely. Cool. So do you write a lot on the piano, or just this primary? You do. I do. Yeah, most of it. And even if I started on a riff on guitar. Mm -hmm. There's something about the piano and the keys out in front of you mm -hmm. where mistakes can all of a sudden be turned into genius, you know. Oh, so you're not really that good, Eric. You're just, <laughs> you're just, you just got it easy back there. <laughs> yeah. Eric as a tiny child was a genius, you know. But even the lick, honestly, the lick, yeah. Though, yeah. it was totally by mistake. And, and that it, was on the piano. It was on the piano. Yeah. I went, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like it. It's really cool. How, how old is that tune? Uh, it's probably about... 15, 18, maybe years old. Yeah. Uh, the, the good part, there's a story behind that because actually Winona held it for eight months. Really? Yeah. And um, so I, I've told Meg this is that, you know, hang on to your publishing because the co writer oh, yeah. went crazy, went out and oh. sold it off. And, and I hung on to mine because, A, I was just, I, it was too stupid to know anything else. I <laughs> well, I was like, you know, but yeah. she, ended up, she ended up at the last second, she turned it down. Really? And uh, so I always called it my almost hit. Yeah, yeah, right. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, at least you got an almost hit, yeah, you know. Hey, that's nice. It's it's called a hold. That's the t that's the technical <laughs> yeah. term. It's yeah, a yeah, hold. Then you can just add a W and an E and that's it's a hold. So. <laughs> yeah. so, that's yeah. great. Well, so what do you got next, Terry? Um, uh, this is my time when I was uh, moved away, um, and uh, I had to for a couple of years, mm -hmm. and um, and so I was really missing Nashville, and uh, but. Uh, I was so far away from Nashville, and then I was doubly far because I was off in the Knoxville area. Mm -hmm. And so um, I thought, well, I really miss Memphis, and it's just called Back to Memphis. Oh, okay. some pride and tasted some tea. They say a good man knows when it's best to run. Baby, I'm thinking my time has come. It's been dark as a dungeon inside of my soul. The things in a life that you can't control. I'm headed back to me. Headed back to Memphis. I'm headed back to Memphis. Headed back to Memphis. You can feel the undercurrent run through your shoes. When you're walking in the land of the rhythm and the blues. Now it gets a little crazy when the homeboys sing Some Johnny Cash Killer and B.B. King Set your body shaking to a backbeat so Enjoy this life that you can't control I'm headed back to Memphis 
I'm headed back to Memphis. Headed back to Memphis. I'm headed back to Memphis. Headed back to Memphis. Set your body shaking to a backbeat so enjoy this life that you can't control and head on back to Memphis Head on back to Memphis Head on back to Memphis Heading back to Memphis Since my baby left me, took me right out there, didn't <laughs> I? love it. You worked that in there perfect. That That's the key, Memphis, right there. Absolutely. Yeah, that's my little joke on the end. Uh, yeah, I love it, man. So is that a piano tune, too? Did that start as a piano? I know that actually was a guitar tune. I was going to yeah. say, that's yeah. got, you know, yeah. certain songs lend themselves to certain instruments, you know? And yeah. That yeah, that one definitely was. In yeah. the middle of the night, you know, just picked it up and just started wailing away. And Got it all down. Yeah. These Have you released a lot of these songs, like uh, uh, these uh, officially? A lot of these off the uh, the first album called Blues World mm -hmm. is actually on iTunes and Spotify and everything. Uh, the second one called Tell Everybody, a song I actually co-wrote with Meg Williams, mm -hmm. uh, is not out on iTunes yet. Um, I've had it for about a year. Um, it's all done. I just got to release it. And but yeah, COVID came. Um, there was some, you know, there were some things with the album. I just wanted to hold on to it for a bit. Sure. But um, but it's it's out there and um, so and I'll leave some with you. Yeah, you absolutely. Think. Yeah, I love this stuff. Yeah. This is great. All right. So what's next? Um, this is called the funniest kind. Is this an upright one? Oh, it is. It's a, well, thanks for doing that too. Oh, Elio is very versatile. <laughs> And this was written in a bar, <laughs> <laughs> sitting in a bar in uh, Brackens in Maryville. You've Ooh, been there. I have. I was was there it a piano bar? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Some people They're the funniest kind
some people They're the funniest guys And the picture that they'll paint for you might end up breaking you in two. I know it's true. I knew it, man. He was the funniest guy. is kind. He tossed away someone who loved him. These days he sits alone and wonders why. I knew a woman She was the funniest guy You know, she drove some into drinking. Others just went blind. Some people They are the funniest kind. Some people
They're the funniest kind. They don't know a good thing when they see it. And when it's gone, gone, gone away, they don't know what to say. Some people They're the funniest kind That was definitely written in a bar. <laughs> Powers of observation. <laughs> That's awesome. That's great. So so let me guess. You were staring at somebody and you just saw what inspired you to You could see it all play out. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm all by myself. It was that easy, huh? I know nobody in there. I'd just been in that town and knew absolutely <laughs> nobody. And uh I just watched and um, yeah. and I just I just the hook came to me. This Yep. human nature yeah absolutely yeah. yeah airports are good for that too <laughs> well you can and also <laughs> you can <laughs> <laughs> i see if you experience it yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah. You know. so so is that was that a local bar or where was that bar i at? know it's bracken's in uh, maryville tennessee. Oh, okay it's maryville oh maryville oh yeah. right. are you a native tennessean no uh, north, north carolina eastern north carolina oh, but okay. i've been here 30 years so so yes, you are. So yeah, I am. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so did you? Were you playing when you like? Were you in that town playing when you uh, went to that? I place? eventually did play, but yeah. when I first moved there, it was basically um, the wife took off doing the corporate job, flying, and um, I was raising a ten-year-old. Oh yeah. So um, it was just like basically me and my daughter, and um, for most of the part. But like I said, I, I mean, I learned a lot about it. I mean, I, sure. I really focused on home recording for the first time because mm -hmm. I had no other choice. <laughs> yeah. And um, but I missed Nashville terribly, and I was so thrilled to get back. How long were you gone? Two years. Wow. But it, some, it seemed longer. Maryville. Where is Maryville anyway? It's south of Knoxville. Oh, okay. It's, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not far, but I mean, probably felt like a million miles at it the felt time. Like a million miles. I remember I did come back and do a few gigs, you know, um, at Bourbon Street, and yeah. And then driving back that three hours. But you were glad for it, weren't you? Yeah, the sun's <laughs> coming up and, you know, but. Uh, yeah. yeah. Now you still play Bourbon Street, right? Still do. Yeah, we just, uh, Meg joined me with us uh, last Saturday. We just did our first gig back since, uh, well, for a while. So yeah. I don't know, did you? Whenever the last one was, but. Um, so it was real good. I mean, basically, Tommy's on it with me. And, nice. Um, and we just, uh, we had the best time in the world. Oh, yeah. It feels good to get out and play. Oh. Yes, it does. Yeah, it yeah, does. we're addicted. I know <laughs> it's in our blood, man. We got, we got to have it. I know. <laughs> All right. So, what are we doing next? Is another upright tune? Uh, this is another upright. Okay. Right um, this, yeah, this is nothing but a hook, and um, I was turning everything off, and I like the hook, and I literally wrote it, and then wrote the third verse the next morning. <laughs> What's the name of this one? It's called Dead Down at the Station. Oh, yeah, Dead Down at the Station. You know what? While you're tuning, I'm going to take a second. We want to thank the Colorado Grill for dinner. Thank you, Colorado Grill. Yes, you guys awesome. always treat us so nice. Yeah, wasn't it? Isn't it fantastic? So good. Oh, Everything yeah. there is awesome. We appreciate Andy and Rosie, everybody up there. Colorado Grill, 31W, White House, Tennessee. Come see them for any kind of cuisine. They've got it all. Best steak I've ever had there, as a matter of fact. Yeah, you, you can't imagine, but anyway. And we also want to thank Donnie Eden, Prosperity Mortgage. Donnie, thank you for helping us keep the show going. We really appreciate it. If you're in the market for a mortgage, if you need to refinance, anything like that, any of you guys need to get in a better position, talk to Donnie. <laughs> so uh, Prosperity Mortgage Advisors, White House, Tennessee. All right. All right, cool. Now we're down at the station. We're dead down at the station. Dead down at the station. That's where I left <laughs> off, dead down at the station. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
My brother's dead down at the station. Can't say I'm too surprised. Mama would always say, someday the truth is going to catch up with your brother's life. Oh, and I love my brother. He got himself in a bad situation. Now he's dead down at the station. The police came early this morning. I woke up when I heard some wail. The whole town knew about Bobby. He was always in and out of jail. We all loved my brother. One of God's little flawed creations. He's dead down at the station. Dead down at the station. Bobby was always a gambler, but his luck would change just like the weather. Then one day somebody told me he and my girl were spending time together. Put me in a bad situation. Now he's dead down at the station. Dead down at the station. Dead down at the station. I love the tempo of that. It's like almost ready to fall apart. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's where that needs to be. It's I think so I'm perfect. Falling apart too. Right? It's just it just it's like you're just literally hanging on. All right, I got to switch. So, tell us about your next tune. Okay. Um. It can be. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a song. Uh, I've been working on recording a full-length album with Goose and with Tommy, and this one's called You're the Only One. Meg went off to uh, New York over the summer I did. and came back with these. <laughs> a whole album worth of just like, wonderful <laughs> songs. This is just lots of writing this year. How many were written in a bar there. or on a piano? <laughs> 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 just alone. <laughs> in right, house. Yeah. That, that's a good way to write songs. Yeah. We'll know the by cat. the lyrical content how alone it was. <laughs> Waiting for you. You got me on the up and the low tide. You know 
set and falling hard and hard for you. I want it bad and I can't ignore that. Ooh, and I never wanna fight it. I sure say. I got it. I got it. <laughs> That's a couple beats late. <laughs> That's a nice dissolve there between me and you, Eric. <laughs> Meg, that's fantastic. Thank you. And you wrote that? Yeah. That is awesome. Thank you. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself Thank now. You. This is this is taking a whole new a no, a new direction now. Yeah, so. Well, I'm originally from Western New York. Uh, lived there my whole life. Moved down here almost five years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and I actually went back up this year for several months, about five or five or so months. Uh, and just did a lot of writing this year. Yeah, yeah had have the you time. Been, <laughs> have you been gigging in Nashville a lot those yeah. past five years? Uh, yeah, especially uh, the past couple of years. But yeah, I moved down almost five years ago and just been playing and, and touring. And nice. Yeah, now That's I'm awesome. Working with these guys, doing a new album. So super excited about that. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. Yeah. So the two of you are producing her new record. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Do you have a name for it yet? It's Live and Learn. Live and Learn. Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome. When's yeah. it coming out? Ooh, June. Well, we'll have you back on for that. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Thank you. Fantastic. That was a nice treat. I wasn't Thank expecting you. all that. <laughs> I wanted you to come. So we'll play together a lot. Now. Wonderful. Yeah. So you guys play around town mm -hmm. quite a bit, like regularly then? Yeah. Okay. She, she, she got it. <laughs> she's, she's the hardest working woman in the show. Yeah. Thank you. Good for you. Whenever we can, you know. Absolutely. 
So are you doing another one now, Terry? I think I am. <laughs> You guys got that whole we've been gigging together a long time thing going. We're all wondering what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's actually really cool, you know. That's called telecasting. Yep, written on this guitar. On that guitar. I was going to say, yeah, you're a telecaster. <laughs> what a great song. Did you write that one by yourself? All by myself. Nice. Yeah. Nice instrumental. Beautiful. Do you have other instrumentals as well? Uh, yeah. Maybe. On your records? Like uh, no. Uh, the one, uh, there's one uh, that I really wanted to get on, but the machine that was on it was, was something messed up or whatever. But Tommy and I plan to re-record it. And then I do have one, another one that's out there, but it's real sad, so I never do it. Sad? It is, yeah. Like but sad yeah. tones? 
Yeah, it's is it is it D minor, the saddest of all keys, <laughs> makes people win weep know, instantly? <laughs> right, right, Eric. <laughs> Well, I like that last one. That was great. That's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I know, right? It's fun to play out on it, right? All right, so what's your next one? Uh, this one is Weeds in the Garden of Love. Oh, right. Seems a more affection I give to you The less you seem to give to me I don't know which way this whole thing is gonna go We stroll our own destiny Oh no But I want you is cold and lonely when you're not here what do you think it does to me all of my emotions are rolling down you either love me or set me free oh no but i want you Some roots grow deeper than you know The sweet of the rose or oh, the sharp of the bone Some things aren't so hard to let go Oh no But I want you Thank you. 
That's cool. That is so cool. It's funny because you're like a quiet guy. You know what I mean? It, you know, there's that whole thing, you know, as musicians, we become different people when we start playing, you know. And you're sitting there, you're rocking it out, you know, and then you just talk so nice and calm. And it's like, I'm the opposite. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, God, I'm loud as hell all the time. And then when it comes to playing, it's like, I want to be quiet, but I don't know if I can, you know. It's, you got a lot of self-control, Terry. <laughs> well, it speaks for me, you know. So. Yeah, absolutely. So we got another one, though, don't we? Yeah, uh, it's a song by Clarence uh, Gatemouth Brown called uh, Louis No, 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 excuse me. I take this back. This is by T-Bone Walker. This is T-Bone Shuffle. Oh, right on. In C. Well, have some fun with this one. Ready, Tom, Eddie?
You know you can't take it with you. That's one thing that's for sure. You can't take it with you. No, no, that's one thing that's for sure. Ain't nothing in the world a T-bone shuffle won't do. Let your hand down, baby. Let's have a natural ball. Let your hand down, baby, and let's have us a natural ball. If you don't let your hand Terry, Goose Downing, Terry, thank you so much, buddy, for being here. Thanks, Elliot. Thanks it for having us. Great time, man. Great music, great originals, great cover tune you picked, too. I love that. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a shuffle all day long. And great band. Thank you so much. Great for band. With yeah. Us. Tommy back there on the drums, Eric over there on the keys, Meg on the guitar over there. Meg, you got to come back and see us. Yeah. Yes, Love definitely. To. In June? June, is that what you said? July. July. Yes. Okay. All right, we're going to have you back in July. Terry, is there anything you want to tell everybody? Where to find your music, where you guys are playing, any of that good stuff? Uh, well, we, uh, Meg's got a big show coming up uh, this uh, Sunday at the Rebar. Um, it's sort of a, a rock show, I guess. Oh, yeah. and nice. And uh, we've done it once before. And so a lot of uh, her songs, her new stuff on the album, is uh, kind of acoustic bass with some really tasty guitar. But out there, we really got to just let it rip. And yeah. it was so cool to hear those same songs because they're great songs. It's just, and we're just, we're, <laughs> we're yeah. blowing the doors off. And it was great. I mean, they they absolutely loved it. So yeah. we've got that coming up, um, you know, but all around town, be sure to look for Meg Williams music. Uh, mm -hmm. My stuff is under uh, Terry Goose Downing out on iTunes and everything like that. And I can't think of it. It just seems like I haven't s slowed down. But Wednesday nights at Pop Attorney's Barbecue, yep. uh, hosting a jam there okay. every Wednesday. And I've been doing that for about four years. Nice. And, um, so that keeps me sane, and then whatever <laughs> things are starting to come in as we speak, you know, things are opening up, and right, you know, so but just uh, staying at it, you yeah. know, and we're not that uh, recording. Tommy and I will, after we're finished with Meg's, Tommy and I are going to start my next album. Great, and um, so just. Onward and upward, you know yeah. how it is. Well, we'll have you back for that record as well. Guys, I thank you all for being here. We appreciate everybody being on Live from the Shop. Terry, awesome job, great music. Thank you, Josh, on the sound, Brennan on the camera, Angelo on teleprompter, Prosperity Mortgage, Colorado Grill. We thank you guys. We appreciate your support. And uh, look for Terry's music and Meg's music, and we'll see you next time. Live from the Shop.